Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me today. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Ala and I make videos documenting my journey as a nursing student. Um, as you can see on this title, I am going to talk about uh, working as a CNA, a certified nursing assistant, and whether I like day shifts or evening shifts. I know people have misconceptions, people have their thoughts, but I've done them both and I'm going to give you my feedback now. Currently, I am officially done with my first semester of nursing school. Um, I'm going to have that card up on the top here. And if you want to check that out, it talks about my first semester overall and my grades and my updates, experience, all that good stuff straight up here. So I am on break currently. I'm not taking any additional classes, thank God. And I can kind of somewhat enjoy my summer. I'm trying to spend it with my kids, my husband, trying to do family things that I've missed because I was going to school and heavily in school studies. So what I am doing now is I am working at as a CNA, Certified Nursing Assistant. Um, if you don't know what that is, usually you take a six to eight week course um, and then you have to test out. So you have to do your uh, a written exam, you have to pass that, and then you have to pass a skills testing that is also included in the Hard above. So what am I going to talk about? Hmm. Working as a CNA. I am not officially with any specific facility. I had chosen to go the route of working with an agency. Um, now I, I think just based off what I've reviewed and researched and all that, um, I thought that going with an agency is a little bit better. For one, um, they pay a lot more than you're working at a facility. So I am at a skills nursing facility um, and what they have me do, doing is going to different facilities. I give them my schedule, what I wanna work, when I wanna work, my times and whatnot. And then they find me facilities to work at according to my schedule. Um, now, if you work at a traditional facility site with them, I don't think you have much of a flexibility. And because I'm a student nurse, um, I did let my agency know that they're completely aware and they know that I may go to zero hours or like one day a, a week of working um, and they're okay with that. So that's what I really like about the Working with an agency, not only do they pay a lot more, you have that flexibility. I don't have to quit my job completely um, because I'm not going to be working. So I'm with an agency. I'm not going to disclose who I'm with. Uh, but I have been working at three different sites they sent me to. Um, and I kind of have an idea of how the facilities work and which one I like best. So based off all those three, I told the agency, I really like this place. I definitely don't like this third place that you sent me to because the way that they run things, I'm not on board with that. So um, I've been actively working at one facility and I've done both evenings and day shifts. Now let's talk a little bit about that. I'm a morning person. I'm not an evening person at all. However, um, based, with, based on my schedule, it kind of works out a little bit. And um, traditionally, my daytime shift, it starts at 6 o'clock and I finish at 2.30. So that's eight hours because I get a 30-minute lunch break. Not to mention your 10-minute morning or first break and afternoon break. Um, I like to be able to finish early because then I got time with my kids. Uh, what else is another positive? So the pros on that is I get started early, I finish early. So I'm on the road before there's traffic and I'm off of the road before the traffic starts. Um, the other pro is I get to come home and spend time with my kids and my husband and it's only three o'clock. 
you know, I, so I got the rest of the afternoon and evening with them. Um, another pro for working a day shift is you have more help on the floors. I mean, I think facilities may differ depending on where you go of how many CNAs, LPNs, and RNs that they have on the floor. Um, you don't really have too much call lights. I mean, no matter where you're working at, the call lights are going to be going on. They're seniors. They need help. So in the daytime, I have to do vital signs on all my patients. I have to um, do tray passing or meal passings for breakfast. So if they're in bed, I need to get them up, need to get them changed, need to get them cleaned up. Their bed needs to be changed and fixed. Um, and then they have their breakfast. And then they eat, we get them cleaned up again. Probably do some exercises depending on their care plans. Everyone's different. And then we have to get, re get them ready for lunch. So those are the, the pros. The cons of working day shifts is it's busy. <laughs> it's super busy. Um, I think, I think even evenings, it's, it's just as busy, but I, there's not too much bad, I guess, for working the day shifts other than you got to start really early in the morning. So I have to be at my facility. I start at six o'clock. So meaning that I have to check in by 545 and it is about 30 minutes away from where I live. So that means I'm up by four o'clock. So I guess that's a that's a con. Um, starting early, meaning I have to go to bed early the night before. I have to limit my time of spending with my family because I need sleep because I have to be up at four o'clock in the morning. Okay, so let's compare that with evenings. So evenings at the same facility, my shift starts at two o'clock in the afternoon which means that I am getting ready by 12 o'clock, leaving my house at one o'clock to be there by 1.30 because I have to officially clock in at 1.45 to be able to start at two o'clock. So my hours go from two o'clock to 10.30. Oh, another uh, pro thing for the day shift is the time goes by really, really fast because you're constantly running around. Um, and before you know it, you're leaving. I've had it where I've missed my, my morning uh, or my first break because I was really, really busy. I almost missed lunchtime. I ended up taking it a little bit late. Uh, but yeah, time goes by really fast in the daytime. Good for you. So let's continue with the evenings. Um, so yeah, so my shift starts at two o'clock. I finish at eight, uh, 1030. The good thing about that is I am going to work when everybody else is still either at work. So I'm kind of missing traffic. And then when I come home, it is so late. I'm missing that rush hour traffic where I live. Um, another good thing is not much good things working evenings. <laughs> I'm going to start with the, the cons. Oh, God. Okay. So the cons of working evenings um, is the time goes by slower than your day shift. And I say that because, um, for one, I'm already tired. I've already went and tired morning, afternoon, early afternoon, and then having to start work in the afternoon to evening. So I'm kind of tired. I've already played with the kids, the family, everything. Tired. Um, another con is the facility I work at for evenings, they don't have much CNAs working. So each wing that you're working at, there's like two CNAs only versus daytime, you'll get three to four. Um, so my patient load is much higher in the evenings than it is on the daytime. You know, daytime I could have um, seven or eight, and then evening I could have 12 to 15 because they don't have much CNAs working. Um, the hard thing about doing an evening, especially having a, a larger load of patients, 
is depending on if there's bath time. So shower times for your patients, that takes up a lot of time, especially if your patient cannot move on their own, cannot stand on their own, you need a Hoyer lift. All those things take into consideration of how much time that you have for the, your remaining patients, making sure that they're taken care of, you're doing um, depends checks, uh, especially if they're incontinent, uh, they soiled their linens, those are all a lot to take in. So if you're gonna work evenings, I would really try it out for one and see if you like it. I never thought that I would really like the evenings, but I kind of do. Um, I can work either or. Um, being a mother and a wife, it makes it a little bit more difficult working the evenings because I do have a, a little one. My son is 20 months and he's still quite attached to me. So I put him to sleep and having to work it in the evenings, my husband or my daughter would have to try to get him to go to sleep, which is not much, not easy. But I don't get to spend that time with them other than the morning time. Um, that's what I really dread about working evenings is I get less time with them. Um, let's see, another con is, besides being busy, is, the lack of help, I think, um, especially for the, at the facility that I'm working at. Everybody, you have to know what you're doing. Because there's limited staff, you can't just say, tell your coworker, hey, can you help me or can you pick up my, my patients because I am slacking or I'm not, I'm behind. You know, everybody has just about the same amount of patients. So you throwing more into them makes it harder so if i had to compare them <clears throat> daytime or evenings i would probably go i would prefer the daytime shifts for sure um only because by the time my family is up and after they're done breakfast and getting to themselves together i'm already halfway done with my shift so i know i'll be home in no time spending that time with them versus the evenings i'm leaving and they're doing something so that kind of shorts my day up especially if we want to go somewhere and after work an evening shift we have to do everything early and i have to be back early so that way i can get ready and head to work um one thing that it's kind of difficult about working with a agency is that you don't have a um how do i say it you don't have a set schedule as you would working at a facility because we're agency it's like a third party or second party however you want to consider it um if a facility finds a their own staff to work those shifts that you're scheduled they will call you and your agency will call you and cancel. <clears throat> so I say that um, for you to really think about what you want to do if you want to work with an agency, given that you get a higher pay, or do you want to have a guarantee shift? Um, I'm kind of okay with the higher pay and flexible schedule than having a mandatory shift. I know I've worked with um, staff that worked with the facility that I'm at and a lot of them have to do a double whether they like it or not but that's their contract that's what they're employed with and they are literally forced to do a double shift <clears throat> i think working a double shift is not highly recommended in my books i don't think it's really smart um but that's just my opinion why because if you're tired, if you're exhausted, if your body is not mentally there, you know, your brain is not mentally there, um, your patient care is going to go down. You can't take care of your patients. You can't give them the right treatment all because you are exhausted and tired, um, which leads to more medical errors and patients fall risk and safety goes down. So it decreases. Um, so that's my little thing of what I wanted to share with you folks, uh, working as a CNA and how 
I've worked on day shifts and evening shifts. I can do either or. I prefer day shifts because it just seems more realistic. I have more time with my family versus evening shifts. I can't spend the night with them, um, especially with my son. But, you know, that's the, the journey and the life of being a CNA and a nurse in the future that we don't have uh, set schedules. I may have to work evenings. I may have to work weekends. That's the duty that I'm signing up for, and I am okay with that. As long as I'm doing patient care, that's all that really matters to me. So thank you for watching. Thank you for showing support, and I wish you guys all luck. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know how you think, what you feel, what you want to see next. Um, also subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll always get notified when I upload a new video. I'm gonna try to do this as often as possible because I'm on break um, before I start my second semester and then I won't be able to shoot hardly anything. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you folks later. Bye.